So doing a hemi-sync exercise such as we're about to do regularly is a workout for the corpus callosum and will lead to improved communication and balance between the two sides. This means that you will be primed to receive divine downloads and you will slide easily into the current of your perfect soul purpose with ease and then you'll feel very fulfilled and your cup will runneth over. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this guided corpus callosum vitalizer. Um, it's a hemi sink, so a balancing pranayama or breath exercise meditation. Um, and it's geared towards increasing your inspiration and expanding your consciousness. So stepping into that, that Christ consciousness or that super consciousness awakening. And of course, also improving cognitive wellness um, and function and overall wellness um, and towards raising the sacred secretion or the Kundalini as well. And we'll get into the meditation in just a minute. But first, I want to quickly explain why this exercise is so beneficial. You've probably heard me talking about the importance of right brain hemisphere activity before. And the book of Revelation highlights this as well, which is why I explained left and right brain and hemi-sinking activity in my book, Elevation, The Divine Power of the Human Body, which is a breakdown of the Bible book of Revelation, an alchemical and biological breakdown. Uh, but in short, the left brain is dominant in most people. And the left brain gives us our perception of time, it governs critical thinking, organization, analysis, all of those things. And the left brain is always looking to do things for the future, ticking boxes and being productive in attempt to increase our level of success or comfort in some way. And this is fantastic. But what happens when we're stressed and we're spread too thinly between life's commitments, the right, which is the spiritual, intuitive, inspirational brain, can suffer and then it can degenerate or atrophy. And in most people, the left brain is taking about 90% dominance and the right brain only about 10%. The right brain with its creative, inspired and innovative ideas would actually make us way more effective in life than a whole lot of left brain busyness because our right brain can help us to see things from the subconscious that we wouldn't normally see. So the corpus callosum is the part of the brain that connects the left and right hemispheres. And experiments show that people who meditate have thicker and stronger corpus callosums than those who don't. So the pros of having a thick and healthy corpus callosum is that you'll be able to think more quickly. You'll be able to retrieve memories way more quickly and you'll be able to receive inspiration really well and to improvise easily and ultimately you'll come to recognize your absolute limitless power as an extension of the God, that divine essence in and through you. And then you will inevitably create more health, wealth, and abundance without all the aggravation, exhaustion, and fuss. Sounds really good, right? 
Well, it is. And like I've said before, there's no testimony like your own. So you really do need to put it into practice and stick with it and the benefits will be awesome. Here's a quick rundown of those benefits summarized before we begin. So again, synchronizing the left and right hemispheres of your brain, which is known as hemi-syncing. Alkalizing the body. We will be stopping the flow of stress hormones, such as epinephrine, which is a form of adrenaline, and cortisol. And it will also calm and reduce amygdala activity, which governs fear and anxiety. And like with most breath exercises, increased nitric oxide flow will expand the neurons in the heart center so your heart will swell, which will cause heart and brain synergy or cohesion, which is then the catalyst for improved pineal metabolism, which of course then ties in with the biochemicals of enlightenment. If you haven't watched my earlier videos about that, you should look into doing that at some point as well to really get a grasp and a picture of what's happening inside your own temple body because the more we understand it um, and the more it becomes second nature the easier it will be to understand those intuitive calls and to recognize them when they come i think a lot of people have their intuition talking to them but they don't trust themselves to follow its lead because they're not sure that that's actually what's happening. So I will explain the exercise very quickly now and then I'll count you through the meditation or guide you through the meditation for approximately seven minutes and then we'll end with a couple of minutes relaxation which will allow the effects to absorb deeply into your being, creating new pathways and programs and clearing out old useless programs. So you will begin by sitting with your spine nice and straight. Imagine that silver cord going zipping you all the way up. You can sit in a chair or you can sit on the floor. You can sit on a bolster or a pillow if that helps you helps with your spine stability. Um, and then I want you to bring your right hand up to your face and block your right nostril with your thumb. And now we're going to inhale for seven counts through the left nostril. And then we're going to block the left nostril and exhale through the right nostril for seven. Now, without changing your hands, you now inhale through the right for a count of seven. Then we switch for the exhale through the left. And every breath will be to the count of seven. You can shorten it if you need to, but I find seven to be a really good length to allow yourself to get all of the air in and then to fully get all of the air out. And of course, the next inhalation will be through the same left nostril, which brings us back to the beginning of the cycle. So, in short, the cycle is in through the left, out through the right, in through the right, out through the left, in through the left, and so on. And the visualization that I recommend for this meditation is that every time you switch nostrils, for the out breath, you imagine a golden arch uniting the hemispheres of the brain and completing our internal battery circuit. Now 
we will begin. So please sit comfortably with your spine nice and tall and straight and close your eyes. Now bring your right thumb to your right nostril and take a deep inhalation through the left nostril for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now exhale through the right, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See that golden arch inside your brain. Exhale left, five, six, seven. Inhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale left, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this will be our last round. Exhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now hold your energy in. Do not let a drop of breath out and squeeze Mula Banda, your root lock, your perineum, your stomach and your anus muscles all in and up for as long as you can pushing all of the energy upwards, multiplying it, percolating it, and relax when you can't hold it anymore. And keeping your eyes closed, relax your hands down and begin to breathe normally. You can stay sitting or you can lay on your back, Shiva Asana, and just completely relax, letting all of your cells and atoms vibrate in harmony while the nourishing effects of this practice sink and spread around deep into your soul. And we'll be here for about two minutes. Okay, start to come around now. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe move your head from side to side. Take a couple of deep breaths and slowly bring yourself back up to a seated position. And when you're ready, bring the palms of your hands together in prayer, completing the circuit of your body. Raise your hands to your head for good thoughts, to your mouth for good words, and to your heart for good deeds. Namaste. Congratulations on completing this wonderful hemi sinking corpus callosum pranayama. Remember, practice is everything. Putting what we learn into practice, embodying it, using it in our lives, that's where a lot of the power lays. And there's 
again no testimony like your own testimony so just keep showing up for yourself your cells again all the links you might need are in the description box below to purchasing my books um, my course yoga app those things thank you very much for watching and may divine light manifest itself in you all always and in all ways.